AIS has been found out that it has a better feature accuracy than the radar in predicting pollution. So soon, soon sana, the country, our country should have AIS on board ships because this AIS can really predict accurate uh, targets, uh, position, time of collision, CPA. So not do that's a feature there. And more importantly, you can communicate with the AIS system. So if we have this one, it has this kind of feature that each group can create a scenario that you are on a tanker, you are on a gun, gun ship, you are on a destroyer, uh, uh, a ship, and you can uh, interact or in each other position. Unfortunately, we still don't have the uh, uh, many bridges we call uh, in this facility. It's just a new installed. Kaso kahit na wala pang yan, one year, we already have a new simulator. So most, most likely, we will have a, a different version soon. Now, pollution regulations, we are all familiar. And unfortunately, we have this problem of contacting the other targets who are on the collision, target, collision course with us. So ano sa loob dito, sabi niya, BHA. Sometimes, even if you have a BHA, which has been proven in many occasions, it's not a safeguard that can prevent collision. Ang talagang nakikita ngayon, the best method of preventing collision is the AIS, Automatic Identification System, which is also uh, possible to interface it with the electronic chart and the radar. You should know that something is wrong, which is not very likely to happen. It's possible to happen. It's possible to so, pollution regulations here can be really, really uh, practiced with so much precision. Don't uh, damage. Ship on my starboard side, ship on my starboard side. Here, lalo sa crowded seas. 